Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your High Media TV news update. I am your host, and today, uh, from NPR by Carrie Johnson, Judge dismisses documents case, specifically the Trump documents case, over the special counsel appointment. The superseding indictment is dismissed because special counsel Smith's appointment violates the appointments clause of the United States Constitution. None of the statutes cited as legal authority for the appointment gives the Attorney General broad and inferior officer appointing power or bestows upon him the right to appoint a federal officer with the kind of prosecutorial power wielded by the Special Counsel Smith, nor do the Special Counsel's strained statutory arguments, appeals to inconsistent history, or reliance on out-of-circuit authority persuade otherwise. To be clear, her opinion closely tracked the reasoning outlined by Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, you know, the Supreme Court Justice who is currently having impeachment inquiries called into him because of uh, bribe of, of all because of his the last 20 years of bribes being done given to him by large conservative donors. Uh, and, and, and she basically mirrored the take of Clarence Thomas that he had in a recent concurrence in a separate case against Trump. So let so normally I would just give my opinion on this, uh, some of my some of my insight and analytical looks at it. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the judge here, Annalene Cannon. She was a uh, she's a she's from Florida. Uh, she has a very, very generally like normal prosecutorial like history. Um, and she was made a judge in, uh, the state circuit in one of the state circuits in Florida until Marco Rubio, uh, when, when Marco Rubio put her up, uh, at, for, um, being a state judge and was also subsequently, uh, one of Trump's appointees. Um, so let's talk about some of her past cases here. So, on, so you know, the bar is in hell, and she at least, the bar is, is like, it's not enabling child predators to get, to like, get off light. So thankfully she clears that. Unfortunately, um, back in 2020, she was appointed in 20, she was appointed, uh, uh, in, she was appointed in, uh, 2020 by Donald Trump, uh, in the summer of 2020, um, she, uh, my apologies, uh, some of, some of the notable cases she did was in 2021, um, she, uh, essentially used something called the Helms-Burton Act, uh, Helms-Burton Act in this case is a law which uses the embargo, uh, of Cuba, is like basically the embargo of Cuba, um, and, there was a Swiss cement company called Lafarge Wholesome uh, and forced them to reach a settlement to compensate an American family under the Helms Burden Act. This, this American family had claims to property in Cuba that was taken over by the Cuban government during the revolution decades and decades and decades ago. And so the, the cement company was supposed to compensate this family. I want to remind everybody that the families that owned property in Cuba were slave owners. So these are people who were forced out, who left the country because they didn't like the idea of not being able to be rich slave owners anymore. So remember that. So, and also they're ruling on property in a separate country that, the, that there is not jurisdiction in. So Cannon ordered the cement company to reach a settlement. Uh, the second thing is, is, um, uh, and the second notable one is that, that is of, of concern is one of Paul Vernon Hofer, a 60 year old man from Palm Beach Gardens who pled guilty to making death threats against, uh, three prominent Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, bleh, AOC, and prosecutor Kim Fox. With federal sentencing guidelines recommending 33 to 41 months in prison, she lowballed him 
down to 18 months and then three years of supervised release. She also just fined him two grand. Um, and lastly, uh, she, the, the other thing is, is that while the, in the United States versus Carver, uh, she presided over a complex multi-defendant healthcare fraud case by and large, there's nothing. The only thing I really can extrapolate from this is she has a propensity to side with, she has a bias towards prosecutors probably because of a history of being um probably due to a history of um being uh what's it called uh a prosecutor herself before she became a judge um so the fact that she was more than happy to uh follow the most conservative and subsequently the most corrupt supreme court justice on the court in a case and use that justification as to why the person who gave her the job shouldn't be prosecuted this has been dismissed i would not be surprised if this gets appealed um but unfortunately there is uh, i think nothing that can be done uh and that's and that's a bummer because um this documents case was ostensibly um a crime uh the federal government like the the the, the, the um library of congress archival division gave trump and the fbi gave trump every single opportunity to give these back and he didn't and you know i think this paired with the um recent ruling from the supreme court making the presidents and former presidents basically immune to almost any prosecution for acts done while in office uh as well as uh the choices of 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 project 2025 being a thing um i think this is just another nail in what could possibly be the coffin of our democracy and i hate to be hyperbolic but we're in a tight spot we are in a tight spot. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it. You can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.